Silver Searcher here. I want to talk to you today about acquiring free silver. Silver from banks, it's easy to get and free. That's the most important part. It's free. Um, I've been doing this for several months. I did it a year ago. I found a little bit of silver. I quit for a while. I started back. And I have, in the last four months, acquired over 125 pieces of silver free from banks. Every bit of it came from banks at no cost other than just the cost of the coin. I have got rolls. I, I like mostly half dollars. I've got these are all silver. These are 1969s. These are 68. These are 68. I've got 64s, um, 67s. I've got Walking Liberty half dollars. I've got nickels. We'll talk a little bit about that. I've got a couple of quarters. I've got some dimes. I also find a lot of really cool stuff. I've got rolls of proof coins, and they're really, really, really nice collector coins. They're not silver, but they're just fun to find along the way. Uh, I wouldn't do this just for the, those, but it's fun. I've got gold plated. Uh, I found a few of those that you'll find occasionally. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's free. Uh, I'm accumulating uh, free silver. And you know, some, every so many years, silver jumps to 40 or $50 an ounce. And then if you've got some silver, it's worth some money. At this recording, it's uh, 1674 when I looked just a little while ago. But uh, here's how you do it. It's extremely simple. You walk into a bank um, and ask them, do you have any half dollars? And you try to buy, you know, whatever they've got. Sometimes you don't get silver. Sometimes you do. I always carry around uh, a bank bag or two with me. Uh, just, you know, if they've got five or ten rolls, I buy them. And it makes it a lot easier to carry to have those. And you go through them and you look for uh, silver. Uh, you can see them very easily from the edges uh, when you open a roll and look at it. At first, you'll probably look at every date. Uh, here's, the, here's how it breaks down. From 1970 to 1965, those years, the half dollars were 40% silver. From all the way, from 1964 and all the way back, as long as they made half dollars, those are all 90% silver. Uh, 1964 is Kennedy, 1963 and back in the 20 years or so, um, they were Benjamin Franklin, and before that they were Standing Liberty half dollars. Um, they, I won't go any, into all the detail. Um, also, there are silver nickels out there. 1942 to 1945 are all 35% silver. And you can tell them so easily because on the back side, above the memorial building, there will be a large P, S, or D. And that means it's silver. You will find some 1942s that are not silver. They started this about halfway into the year or so. But look, all of them that have the large letter above the Memorial Dome, they're all silver, 35% silver. They're fun to collect. I've got quite a few of those that I collect. I don't do them as much. Uh, I, I really like the half dollars, but they're fun to get too. Uh, if you go to, you can go to your bank and order coins. And that's what I do most of the time. I do go to other banks, and I have gotten quite a bit of silver from banks that I'm not even a member at. But I enjoy mostly, I order every week. I get one, two, or three boxes of half dollars. Uh, it's $500 to buy the box. I go through it. I've gotten fast, and, you will, and you'll get fast too. I can go through a box in less than an hour. Um, sometimes I get nothing. Sometimes I get one or two. I've gotten 15. Um, and and I'm, if you watch enough of these videos of getting silver, you'll find people who have done better than that. It, Different regions do better uh, than others for some reason. I also occasionally, I've, I've gotten quarters a few times. They're $500. I've not had much success with quarters. I have found a couple. I haven't had a lot of success with the dimes, but I will say uh, last week, it's $250. And you just look at the sides. You can tell if it's silver. I, I open them up. I look at the sides. I don't re-roll dimes. I find a bank that just takes them unrolled and I, and I take them back. Uh, the half dollars right now, I re-roll re them, I push them out, I open one in, I push them out, 
I look through them, I put them back in, and, and the bank that I take them back to uh, prefers me to take them back road. I use a different bank to take back the nickels and dimes and quarters. They prefer them unrolled, so I just throw them back in this box and take them that way. Anyway, on the dimes, usually I'll find one per box, which is not a lot of fun. The last box I found three. That was kind of cool. Same with the nickels. They're $100 a box. I usually find one. Uh, I, the last box I found four. That was fun. But, you know, to me, the half dollars are king. They're just a lot of fun. I have found in the last four months, like I said, over 125. Go to the banks. Ask them if they have half dollars. If it's your, if you're a member there, ask them if they'll order them for you. And uh, most of them will. Some of them won't. I have found some tellers that aren't very happy with it. Uh, but the, the larger chain banks, in fact, I've had the best um, success with in ordering. Uh, although there are some smaller uh, community banks that are, are very, very good too. Enough, a few are not. But you get a lot of free silver if you're if you're patient and you stick with it. It will add up. I've I've got now over 200 silver coins. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, just leave your responses, and I will I will get back with you. And good luck. I hope you find a lot of silver. I, I really enjoy this hobby.